His nose is about as big as a burger. He's got these white gloves that look kind of showbiz. Loads of hair. He has a moustache. How tall is he? Probably about 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. About our size. He makes really weird noises. <laughs> Mario! Piranha pants. <laughs> Little bombs with legs that run around. Yoshi is Mario's dog. He's a dinosaur. Yoshi is not only a friend, but he's a friend you can ride on. Kind of dog, giraffe, dragon snake. He's like a... Like a... Well, he's a Yoshi. And there's talking mushrooms. Favourite one? The Super Mario World on the SNES. Paper Mario. Paper Mario is a great game. New Super Mario Bros. Mario Sunshine. Obviously, the Galaxy games are incredible as well. I played Mario 64 for the first time. I fell in love with Mario there and then. It's like choosing between your two favourite pets, isn't it? <laughs> 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 but I've played Mario on, on, on every console. Come round to my house, I have a SNES. How spoilt were you? I played Miyamoto-san at Super Mario Brothers. She was rubbish, I was brilliant. And I beat him! The more she moves her arms or her legs, the further Mario will jump. <laughs> Boys aren't better at playing game. Doesn't quite work like that. And I'm the best. No, you're not. It's great fun when you beat the big bosses. It's a bit nerve-wracking, you know, you get butterflies and... Bits where, you know, if you've misjudged the moving ground, you had it. That was it for you. Done. You reach for some crisps. I'm, 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 you're out, you're, out, you're yeah. dead. You're gone. When I'm trying to beat the big boss, my heart is pumping out of my chest. Any kind of snap region, and you're not washing those shells, <laughs> you're out of there. And then you defeat him, and it's really satisfying to see him fall and, like, fly away. Beating Bowser for the first time, it's, you never forget that moment. My only memory of that holiday to America was playing Nintendo, and then it was like, I want to go back next year. I love the Ouija's Mansion on the GameCube. Oh, the one where you have to hoover the... We have to hoover the ghost. Yes. Yeah. And it had kind of spooky music, and skeletons, sort of skeleton ghosts were float down from the ceiling. Mario Kart. I'm best in Mario Kart. No, you're not. My favourite weapon has to be the spiky shell, which just gets everyone. <laughs> Once we're playing, there's just, like, shouting and crazy screams. And then you skid off and then someone comes and hits you from behind. It's brilliant. Frustrating, but absolutely brilliant. The bananas, cos I love to throw them and uh, see everyone else skid off the track. Any weapon I can get my hands on <laughs> tends to work. A gigantic bullet with a big, angry face on it. Scared the life out of me. Click it, take him out. Go past, win the race. That's pretty much a story of Mario Kart of us. He's like an old friend that you go back to. There's only one Mario. Just a really lovely, imaginative world to enter. Jump on top of the level, run across, <coughs> and jump into the warp zone. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Try that. Something like that. Did, did, did it? Tiny little keyboard. That's what sort of the Jamie Cullen would play. Super Mario Brothers, part of the family since 1985.